Good morning, welcome back to another vlog. I'm not gonna lie, I thought this video was going to start off very different and I am so glad that it is not starting off different. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I have updated about Puff. Um, the last vlog that you guys saw, he was kind of limping and not doing the best at like walking around. Um, and we thought, went to the vet, we thought that he had hip dysplasia, uh, which would require a total hip replacement. Um, $14,000 and with his age, he's almost 14, it just wasn't recommended. But we actually went back to the vet, more x-rays, more tests. And he doesn't have any spaces in between his spine, which is causing his legs to not work. So he's like completely not walking at all. And um, <clears throat> last week was the hardest week, one of the hardest weeks I've ever had. Um, I thought I thought it was going to be my last week. I'm trying not to cry in this video because I cried so much last week that I'm just like trying to not cry because he is still here with me. And, you know, at the vet last appointment, she said that, that basically he was getting a Hail Mary for a week. We were going to see how he does on a bunch of medicine. He's on like four or five different things right now. Um... And he walked today. He walked on the grass, which he like wasn't walking. And he, he walked on the grass today, which was like, it was like the best to see because he just hasn't been able to walk. And, you know, the vet asked me, one of the, hard, one of the things that she asked me first was, what do you think of his quality of life? And Scott has told me like, this isn't a way to live. Um, but I don't want to give up on Teddy. I don't want to give up on Teddy. Um, I would rather carry him around with me everywhere than give up on Teddy. He is having a hard time going to the bathroom. Um, so basically the vet said it, it's kind of up to me when I want to put Teddy down. And I'm like, me, I'm being like selfish, I guess, because I don't want to put Teddy down. I don't. He seems so happy, like his front half. He seems normal, his front half, he's begging for treats, he's still eating, he's still drinking water, he's still snoring at night, like he seems happy, he just can't walk. So it's like, I mean, everyone gets old, right? And if you're someone who's old and you can't walk, what do you do? You get like crutches or you, you get a wheelchair. Um, I don't think that's like, termination but I just I have to see how he is because I obviously don't want him to be miserable I don't want him to be unhappy right now he seems happy and the vet said that she doesn't think that he's in any pain so that's a really big positive like if he was in pain and like uncomfortable like I don't know like it would be obviously a really hard decision to still make but like I don't want to see him in pain so right now she doesn't think that he is and he's just my sweet little puff. I like, I cried so much. Like reading your messages on Instagram and how some of you have gone through like very similar things with your dogs. And it's just, it's just sad. It's sad that dogs can't live as long as us. It's unfair because there are literal worlds and like there are family. So it's just, it freaking sucks like Teddy grew up with me and I just don't want to be without him um, he's, he's my number one puff he's probably like put me down but he also can't walk so the fact that he walked outside like 15 minutes ago oh my god I posted on my Instagram I just could not believe that he walked because he was like not walking at all he doesn't really walk <sighs> He just like scoots. He, he must have some strong muscles in his like front legs because he is pulling his body weight. But I just wanted to update you guys and she said let's see how he is in like a week. Giving him like a second run, a second chance of life. But like if he seems happy, like I'm not putting him down. I'm not. You can't make me. 
ugh, I just like I'm hoping that it just stays positive and it you know he either continues to get better we get some wheels for him I think he'll absolutely hate that but I want to do everything I can for Teddy so that's my little update on Ted he's still here he's still here and he's still mine and he's the cutest puff I've ever seen I have to carry him and like hold his food bowls up for him and like hold him up to go to the bathroom but I don't care I will take care of him and I will hold him up to go to the bathroom and eat right all right so that's my update on puff I'm gonna try and vlog throughout the day and like try and have like a happier week because last week like babies were sick Teddy was sick it was just like a really really tough mentally draining week where I was like what is life what is life right now and I don't want to have that same mentality this week this week I'm I, positive things are gonna happen Teddy's gonna be okay positive things are gonna happen so I'll vlog happiness this week actually I think I'm only gonna vlog like maybe today and tomorrow so I will just vlog happiness thank you I'm also as you can probably obviously tell I'm like super blonde now which I wanted to be blonde I'm very I miss being blonde thank you thank you puff so I'm a blondie for the summer thank you so much for those kisses all right I will talk to you guys in a second I'll show you guys my my shelves in the uh, in my room for like my perfume setup. Mm -hmm. I wonder what's in there. We're gonna do a little PR unboxing. Oakley's gonna help me. All right, let's see. What do we have in here? What's in the first one? I think that's it. <gasps> okay, so lip injection lip gloss from Too Faced. This is in the shade Glossy and Bossy. I think I've had this color before. Thank God the card. Thank you for the card. And then we have Lip Injection Maximum Plump. Okay, thanks Too Faced. And then this, which is a lip injection. Ooh, this is a lip liner. Can we open this box yeah. to see what color it is? Yeah. Okay. This is the picture of it. All pink shades. I've been obsessed with like pink. You guys probably saw my blush was very pink in the first clip. That's from Too Faced too. But we're gonna open all of this today. And we're gonna have such a good week, right? You did it? Go ahead. Baby sis is sleeping. She is snoozing away. Ooh, I like that. Let me take this out. I can't do it with my hand. Oh, some tasks. Ooh, that looks real nice. And then we got a lip liner too. Cool. Okay, let's put this all in a pile. You can try and open that if you want. Next, from Clean Maple, this was so nice. So they have organic scrubs and body products. So this is the Clean Maple Organic Maple Sugar Body Scrub. It's a light maple scent, revitalizing body scrub made with organic maple sugar. Oh, I love that color, baby. I love it. And some tags. And some tags. So thank you to... Clean Maple for sending this over. They are based in Vermont, which is always super cool because I love going to Vermont. Um, we have a family house in Vermont in Stowe, so maybe I'll have to make a trip. I'll have to see how far away Clean Maple is from Stowe. But thank you to them for sending that over. More body products, look at this. Ooh, this is from Nativa Spa. This is Sure, take it out. This is the Rose Replenishing Body Lotion. I am going to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the scent Rose. But, yeah, these are really nice. But, oh my god, this quinoa one smells so good. <gasps> what is that, baby? Let's see it. This one smells super good, too. So, this is Madagascar Vanilla Soothing Body Lotion with nourishing quinoa oil and African vanilla. Oh, this is like delightful. I'm putting this on my bar car upstairs in the bathroom. Yeah. It smells so I'm good. Put this on here. Yeah, am I gonna smell so yummy? Yeah. So, love that. The rose I'm gonna have to give away. I haven't even smelled it, but I just, I'm not a fan of rose. Oh, okay. But like vanilla, yes. What's that? Ooh, we got another one. Okay, so this is from Merit Beauty. You wanna open up these boxes? 
<laughs> so Merritt sent over a little postcard and then three things. Are you gonna open those for mama? Yeah. Makeup you can live in. I'm gonna open one of them, okay? So this is Solstice. This is a highlighting balm. You can open that one for mama. So this, this is the packaging. I really like this packaging. I'm actually gonna do, the, I have like a, whoa, is that the brush? Ooh, that's super soft. I want all new makeup brushes. Look at this. Let me feel. That is soft. I do. Look at this. This is really pretty. So this is Solstice. This is a new shade. Let me do a little swatch on my arm, my hand. Oh yeah. That, can you see that? Hold on. That is stunning, honey. Look at that. For the summer. Beautiful. What's that? This is a lipstick. This packaging is really, really pretty. So don't mind my nails. We're having a tough time lately. Ooh, pretty, pretty color. Real pretty. Let's swatch this Merit. Wait, hold on. Where's the box for this? I want to see the shade of it. It doesn't say it on here. Oh, that is super nice. this That's a really pretty color. All right, let me put this. Oh, it says it right here. So this is millennial. Really, really, really pretty lip shade. All right. And then the brush, which I'm, I think you're supposed to blend out that solstice with the brush. I made the Pretty. You made a boat? Cool boat, baby. Whoa. All right, we have one more package from Pixie. This is the last box. This is Pixie Skin Treats. Look at how pretty this is. What's on here? What is that? What are these? Strawberries. Strawberries. Oh, oh. Let's try and get this out. What the heck? Okay. You want to open it? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. I wonder what's inside. I wonder. Oh, wow. Ooh. Antioxidant tonic. Blueberry and birch water. Oh my God. And little cotton pads. I live for this kind of thing. So it's a fusion of skin-loving Nordic superfood berries and a luxurious multi-use essence toner. It has strawberry, cloudberry, gentle elixir. Ooh, I'm gonna use this. Thank you, Pixie. Morning or night, swipe generously with your Pixie reusable cotton pads. Cool, and they're machine washable. We love that. Ugh. Um, by the way, I lost my freaking, I didn't lose it. I think someone took it and I have no idea where it is, but my Chanel cotton pads that Michaela got me for Christmas, ugh, they've been missing for months and I'm like, where are they? Anyways, this is really nice. Um, so yeah, little, little PR haul. Now I'm going to put this stuff away. Actually, I want to take some pictures for Instagram. Put this stuff away. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. And what should we do today? Oh, let me show you my perfume. We can actually recycle those boxes. No, I'm going to play with You can play with them, that's fine. We, well, Scott hung my shelves yesterday. So I think those look really nice. My perfumes, I don't know if I already showed you, but I moved that over there. But now I'm going back and forth because I'm like, this area seems empty to me. So I might get like a big chair why did I say that funny? I might get a big chair here, or do I move? <laughs> do I move my bookshelf back underneath and then put a chair in there? Who knows? I don't know what to do. But for now, at least it's not like a big plain wall right now. So I think the next thing I'm gonna do is because I had my perfumes on here, I'm gonna reorganize this and put like summer essentials on this three tier and also just like clear this off a little bit because there's a couple things okay so i'm gonna put like my summer essentials and summer products on here because i'm making this whole thing like you guys have seen my sunscreen station now i want to do like summer essentials i did order like a big sephora order two orders and they're coming in the mail this week so i'm probably going to add more to it um because right now i don't have too many things that are like summer essentials or like summer things so first of all, the bon the bronzy drops, Ugh, I, 
I've been obsessed with it. Sunbeam Benefit. Mm-hmm. That's good. I've been, oh my God, can I talk today? I've been loving this Rare Beauty contour stick. This is in good energy. Put that there. And then I also have been using this Anastasia Clear um, Brow Freeze, Brow Wax. You don't have to use this. You can get the NYX one for like $2 or whatever it is. Actually, is it NYX or is it ELF? I think it's ELF. Anyways, but... I've been using that lately, so I got that. And then these are just some new products that I just showed you, so I'm just gonna put them on here because everything kind of matches. And this way I'll be more inclined to use them. If they're kind of just like out and displayed. Oh, this was really pretty. So that's all I have on there right now. But I have a Sephora coming, Sephora order coming in. I think a lot of it is very like pink though. I got a Selena Gomez, the Rare Beauty New Blush, Luminosity Blush. Ugh. Is she waking up? So, yeah, that's my little cute little section. I'm trying my best to be happy today. I have to choose happiness. I have to. All right, I'm making my second cup of coffee for the day. It is 140, 143, so that's not bad. We ordered Panera for lunch, and they forgot Oakley's mac and cheese. I think I got another creamer. They forgot Oakley's mac and cheese, so I called and I was like, I know it wasn't the DoorDash's fault, it was Panera's fault because it wasn't in the bag. And they said they could either refund me or get someone else to drive it out here, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> if you don't mind. <laughs> like, I'll obviously tip them. I'll obviously tip them, right? Because I feel bad that it's like not their fault. It might be a new driver, I don't know. But it's been like two hours and nobody's coming, so. Poor Oakley was like, where's my mac and cheese? Um, so I might end up calling again. But I'm just having a second cup of coffee. I wanna edit this vlog, it's probably not gonna be super long. I'm trying to think if there's anything I wanna do besides clean. Let me try this coffee. I feel like I'm wearing a wig. That's how blonde I am now. Super blonde. Um, also, I was doing my nails at home. What, baby? My mac and cheese. Oh, I know, honey. I don't know where the heck they are. I'm going to call them again, okay? I don't know where they are. I gotta take my vitamins. Maybe I'll take my vitamins. I'll show you guys what I'm taking for vitamins. Would you be interested? I'm gonna show you. Do I take all of these? Yes. Okay. Elderberry. Ask me how we all got sick. Nobody knows. Nobody freaking knows. I take two elderberry. I don't know if it does anything. Scott really believes in turmeric. I don't know why, but he does. So. Um, I just ordered another one last night on Amazon because he's been taking two a day. I've only been taking one. I gotta give Teddy his medicine too. Okay, turmeric. I'm not good at swallowing pills. Are you? I feel like it gets lodged in my throat. I don't know. God, last night I was choking on bread. I was literally choking on bread. And I was talking to Scott and he was like laughing. And at first I was like joking and I went like this because I always like put my fingers in between his like collarbone. Um, at first I did that and then I started choking. <laughs> and he was like laughing because he thought I was laughing. And I was like hitting his arm. I was like. <laughs> and then I somehow like got it dislodged. And I'm like, I was just choking. You didn't even know. Anyways, magnesium and ashwagandha, new chapter. And then I do take fiber gummies too. These are freaking big. This is big to me. What do I struggle? 
I don't know if you're supposed to take it all at once. And I definitely don't know if you're supposed to take it while drinking coffee, but we're doing it. <laughs> Oh. and couldn't reach you. So um, they said to have you call them. They'll cancel the order so you get your money back and then um, you can just place an order for the mac and cheese. Oh, okay. I know, baby. Baby, I'm gonna have to try and find you something else because they just told me that I wasn't able to. Shit. I might have to order it again. I'm gonna order it for you again, okay? I'm getting it right now for you and I'm gonna have to pay for it. a tip and I'm gonna have to pay for the delivery fee all over again. It's kind of honestly bullshit. Delivery fee three ninety nine, fees and tax three sixty three, dasher tip two fifty. I'm just like repaying for the freaking mac and cheese again. Okay, I just had to reorder the mac and cheese. <sighs> Anyways, I wanted to show you a couple of books that I have not read yet, but let me know in the comments down below if you've read any of these. The first one is The Query Girls. I'm pretty sure this is like a creepy one, which I was super into like the creepy mystery murders, those kind of books like around um, like the fall. And now, now that I'm like trying to get out of this like depression, um, I don't really wanna read this kind of book right now. Like I need a happy book. So I got two other books. First I got this one because I did not know there was like two parts of it. So I got this one and now I have to get the other one that goes before this. This one is If Only I Had Told Her and I got this from Target, but it's a sequel. So there's one that you're supposed to read before this and I did not know that. So I cannot read this one yet. And then the other book that I got, I got this the other day at Target. This is called Expiration Dates and this is just supposed to be like a romance book and I just wanted something like happy, like a happy love story. So I have not started it yet. I always say that I'm gonna start a book at night and then I grab my headphones and go on my phone and just watch like reels, but I really do need to start this book. I think I'm only, I think I'm at like five or six books. Come here, baby, it's coming. Yeah, look, the car is right there. Poor baby. See, the car's picking it up. Kenny, Kenny's picking up our order, okay? okay? He's getting the mac and cheese for you, the big mac and cheese. Okay? okay. Do you want an apple too? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so anyways, I think I'm gonna end my vlog here. I don't know how long it is. It's probably not that long, but I just wanted to like update you guys basically on Teddy and like I'm gonna try and have a positive, happy week. Um, and yeah, I think I'm gonna work out actually because I know working out makes me happy too. And like in the moment, it doesn't feel good, but after it just always makes me feel better. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thank you for all of your kind words on Teddy. I know he's been like part of this like community for so long with you guys. Um, so I know you guys care about Teddy just as much as I do too. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this vlog and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.